Hey everybody! Well, this is kind of a different take on coffee talk because there's no coffee this time. But uh, I have put together a list because I love lists. A list of 10 things that you can do to keep yourself busy slash entertained slash just doing something during your stay at home staying at home <laughs> yeah I couldn't think of the word there so <laughs> uh, number one make a list of 30 I don't know why I said 30 maybe because we've been stuck at home for like everything's been shut down for like 30 days already so maybe that's where I got 30 from I don't know but make a list of 30 things that you want to do when this is all over or 30 places you would like to go. Whether that be a new town, a new restaurant, a new activity center, a new, you know, like a baseball game. Um, uh, yeah. Try 30 new foods. This is number two. Try and break it down into six different categories. So category one is like food food, like a new protein, a new vegetable, a new fruit, you know, something along with a new dish. Um, second category is something vegan. Don't knock it till you tried it. I've had vegan chicken nuggets and they're pretty all right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> drinks. So, uh... You know, try a new flavor of coffee, try a new brand of water, try a new flavor of juice, a new flavor of soda that you've never had. You know, mark it all down. Um, sweets. Sweets is the, uh, one, two, three, fourth category. <laughs> um, you know, try a new pastry or, um, you know, a new flavor of cookie. Something. You know, and number five is like a savory snack category. So like a new flavor of chip you've never had or a new flavor. They have different flavored pretzels even now. So, you know, try that. And the last one is the sandwich invention category. I think this one would be the most fun. So be creative and, you know, try new combinations and put stuff on your sandwiches that you've never put on your sandwiches before and uh there you go number three play that karaoke roulette game that's on tv uh but with hats so like the names of singers in one hat and the names of songs that everybody would know in another hat for example, Cher singing This Little Light of Mine. Oh, here we go. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. All right. Number four, work on your impressions. Some, if you don't do impressions, find one that you want to try to impersonate. You never know until you try. You've got Wookiee, Elmo, Elmer love to color stuff. <laughs> Gollum slash Smeagol. What's Tato's precious? You keep nasty chips. And the list goes on. So, you know, work on a new impression. Follow a new recipe. This is number five. Follow a new recipe. Either watch the tutorial on YouTube or look one up in something called a cookbook. I know they're kind of ancient, but they still exist. Phone a friend who has a bunch of recipes. <laughs> I'll give you one for free. You take uh, an English muffin and you cut it in half. And then on each half, with the bottom side down... With the outer side down. You put some roast beef hash. And then you put a slice of good melting cheese on top. And you bake them in the oven at like 350 for like 15 minutes. And I don't know what it's called. But I grew up on it. And I love it. Good stuff. Number six. 
Think of something you can do, yeah you, to make the world a better place. That sounds so cliche, but right now we really literally need to make the world a better place because this whole thing is really bringing out a lot of negativity in a lot of people. So, uh, figure out what you can do, something you can commit to that you know is a good way that you can spread love or encouragement or positivity in some way. If you're a good artist, draw beautiful things that make people happy. If you're a good singer, get out there and sing good, happy songs. If you um, are really good with words, then, you know, you need to be speaking good words to people into their minds and their hearts. You know, do some more good. Number seven, send handwritten letters to your friends and family. I, I'm someone who likes to write anyway, but, um, I have forgotten how much I really enjoy writing down letters and it really is kind of exciting to send it through the mail and like, when are they going to get it? And then if they do get it and they respond back, you know, it gives you something to look forward to. So, you know, turn a good friend into a pen pal that you just happen to know. <laughs> and if you don't know what a pen pal is, um, Google it. Number eight, go through your old clothes, see what you can donate. This has a bunch of stains on it <laughs> from me coloring my hair. But it's my breakfast club shirt and I'm not getting rid of it. So it's my everyday lounging shirt. And But there are plenty of other things that I have found in my closet. And some of them, some of my old like tops that I, I used to go to the clubs. Okay, I don't do that anymore. I haven't done that since I was 28 years old. But some of my old club and tops could be really, really cute dresses for Morgan. So... She's going to let me put them on her and I'm going to pin them and sew them and hopefully they turn out correct. New hobby. Who knew? Number nine. This is something I do all the time and I feel almost like a nerd, but actually really kind of obsessive. I don't know. Take an inventory of all all the food that you have on hand, like how many sticks of butter or pounds of butter or whatever, like even the smallest little thing, like how much ketchup you have, all that kind of stuff. And then from looking on the list, put together meals, put together meal ideas, like look and see what you think would go together. You know, oh, I have a ham steak in the freezer. I forgot about that's going to go well with my can of green beans, you know, and let's come up with something else there to eat, you know. Hey, it works. It really works. I'm telling you. And it helps you organize your grocery shopping list, too, because if you already know what you have, then you're not going to buy extra and end up with, like, 1,500 boxes of mac and cheese <laughs> when you don't need 1,500 boxes or even 15 boxes of mac and cheese. So there you go. And last but certainly not least, make phone calls instead of texting people. I think people have forgotten how important it is to hear other people's voices. It is really easy to text because I've had a lot of dead space on the phone <laughs> where I want to talk to the person but now I can't think of anything to say, but I also don't want to hang up because it's like my best friend or at the time, you know, someone I was dating or whatever, you know. But these days it's so much easier to text text because you can just answer whenever you have an answer or ask a question whenever you have a question. And while that does make a little bit of sense, it still feels good, especially now that we can't visit each other. We need to hear each other's voices. We need that vocal connection and, you know, just to lift each other up and just hear good, positive tones and, and you know, hear the love in our voices that we have for each other. So that's my list of 10 things and hopefully I give you some ideas and hopefully you had a little bit of fun watching this. 
So on that note, I'm going to go, but have a wonderful day. Continue to stay safe. Continue to really stay positive. And because this too shall pass. Have a good day.